One, two, three, four. And a package. All right, guys, gold under spot. Let's get there. Uh, there's a couple ways. There's three really ways that I take advantage of it. Number one, I'm going to say the easiest way. I'm going to give you two of them, the easiest way to do it. Anybody can do it. Any Joe out there can do this. It takes no skill. It takes no, no effort, essentially. Number one is eBay. eBay bucks, they are out there. You can use them, sign up for them, take advantage of them. I haven't taken advantage of them this year because the eBay bucks... They've been low compared to last year. eBay bucks last year were averaging 10% every time. So I haven't been taking advantage of the eBay bucks this year. And there's several videos out there where you guys can go ahead and figure out how to sign up for eBay bucks. But that's one way. The other way is you can use your credit cards, not to buy bullion, okay? But you can use your credit cards that you pay or that you uh, for items that you pay regardless every month. Right. You have your cell phone bill. You have your your mortgage. You have whatever your groceries, your gas, whatever. You can use those credit cards or that credit card, which has rewards. OK. And you can pay the credit card ASAP. Get your rewards that you were going to pay anyway. Right. And then turn that into bullion. Pretty simple, pretty easy, as long as you're responsible. But like I've said in the past, I don't agree with paying uh, <laughs> paying for bullion with your credit cards. I just don't do it. I've done it before, but I paid it off immediately because it was something I had to have. But I don't suggest you do it. Now, that leads me to this. I picked up the four American Gold Eagles right here. And I paid Somewhere between 170 and 180. I don't have the exact math on it, but I want to say this V75 Silver Eagles were going for 83 a piece. And I want to say I got it shipped to the house for 89. So I got two of them. So what I ended up doing is I traded online with a dealer and he gave me four American Gold Eagles plus a hundred dollars cash. So you can't even get one of these for that price, right? And so what I ended up doing is I contacted Guido after I got that $100 cash and I bought this American Gold Eagle on the spot price dip. And I paid $480 for that. And I took that $100 cash from the V75 deal and I put it towards that quarter ounce Eagle right there. So I got that for $380. So that's gold under spot there too. So I was able to take advantage of the V75 and I was able to take advantage of the quarter ounce gold eagle right here. So it's a win-win. So what am I going to do? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to keep this American gold eagle right here. Because I like the... I can actually read these where I can't read these. Right? It's difficult to read the dates. And I think that's uh, important to be able to read your coins. So, yeah. So what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to take these. Right? I paid 170 for these. And probably two, 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 two. So 800 for there. Right? Plus 170 and probably plus a little cash out of my pocket. And let's see what type of deal I can get for this right here. Let's see if I can turn this fractional gold into a solid ounce. All right. A couple seconds for you. A couple hours for me. Yes. Did go to the LCS. Got some good news and I got some bad news. Okay. So let me go ahead and give you the bad news first. Which is not really bad. I mean, it's okay. So yeah. I brought them home and they just didn't have what I was looking for. And normally that's not an issue at my LCS. Normally I can find these there all the time. Normally he's always got at least one or two in the stock or he's got some in, in the back or, or whatever. And, and this time he just didn't have any and it's okay. It's okay. You know, it's, it's I still have the gold. I still have the exact amount that I put into it which is a little over $900 and probably the value of this is probably if I just sold it outright peer to peer, it's probably $1,600 in value right there. So that's not bad. That is well under spot. That's almost half under spot 
for gold. And you can't beat that. So, but the good news is, the good news, they had something in there I've been looking for for quite some time. And I can never find this coin for the, the a good price. It's very, very expensive because it's a collectible. But if I can get a collectible for the same price or just a little bit above uh, the bullion version, that's a win in my opinion. So this one, I, I, I've been searching for it. So let me get this opened. Uh, it's from the United States Mint. You guys know that. And it's probably one of their better presentations, I might add. It uh, it comes from United States Mint. It comes in a clamshell case just like this. It's all blacked out. It's got gold all over it, man. It's, it's sexy. So let me get this out of there. Move this out. So yeah, check it out. And it's going to match the other one that I have. And yep, you see it right there. You see it right there. Let's check her out. All right. Yes, that's right. There she is. This is the business strike. Okay. Four nines find gold. You know, a tenth of a troy ounce. So it's, it's beautiful. It's got the W mint mark, right? It's got the sculptor description, reverse description. Great, man. I'm, I'm super excited to, to add this to the collection. This is going to go great with my SLQ. And if you guys don't know what a SLQ is, it's the Standing Liberty Quarter version of this. And she is a looker. Look at that. So, yeah, typical going rate for these are 300 and above. And there's no way that I wanted to pay that for, for this coin. And I didn't today. I didn't. I want to say it was 240 to 260 somewhere in there. Somewhere in there. And that's a fantastic deal. I will take that for a four nines fine gold any day, any day for this one, just this one, right? Uh, it, it, it's great. And it's going to go well with, like I said, with the Standing Liberty design. Like this one. Now, that just leaves one more that I got to get. So I got to find the, the half ounce, right, for the half eagle. And those are even harder to find than the SLQs. They actually had one more of the SLQs in there. But, uh, yeah, I did come back home. I came back home uh, also with the cash. So he, they took my name down, my number, and put me on the waiting list. So they said, you know, hey, as soon as someone comes in with one, I'll be the first one that they notify. So that's awesome. I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, it's going to be to be continued, guys. So be patient uh, and uh, I'll bring it to you as soon as I get. That's going to do it for today. Really appreciate you guys liking, watching, subscribing. And don't forget, guys, keep grinding on your stack.